first one we played was um, Gwydr Glass. It's one of our, our oldest songs, actually. <laughs> um, one that we hardly play anymore, but um, we might well put it in the set tonight because we actually quite enjoyed it. Uh, but that's like, um, it's obviously a Welsh folk song and it's about a, uh, almost like a, an old fashioned um, arranged marriage kind of thing. It's about this girl who's waiting for her loved one to come uh, and knock on the window and she's basically telling us, if he comes, tell him that he can't have me, I'm gutted because I've had to go with someone else, but um, it's painful for me, you know, it's that kind of story really. I think a good glass is... Blue glass is translated, isn't it? Gwydr is glass. Yeah. And glass is blue. blue. Yeah. And it's, it's the girl who's got the arranged marriage looking through. through. The, yeah, but it, she's also... I like that. Yeah, she's looking through the window, but the, she's also saying mm -hmm. if someone comes to the window and knocks, yeah. she's quite specific in the way she describes it. Yeah. Or the henna, igiro, gwydr glass. Kiro is to batter, to batter something, to batter the window rather yeah. than knock it. Right, yeah, yeah. So it's quite descriptive. All the Welsh songs are really descriptive. You know, the the, the language is, is amazing, and I I just love reading them. Sometimes I cry because <laughs> they're so painful. The stories, mostly about love and death, and how she can't have him and he can't have her, and therefore I might as well drown myself, and so be it. So that's the general gist of them. <laughs> um, so can you explain for for those of uh, those of our viewers who are not so familiar with you, um, sort of the mix of, of Welsh ballads with, with the non-traditional accompaniment that you do. Sure. Well, the, the all the songs that we do are, are traditional Welsh folk songs, and um, you know it's funny. I, I'm not into um, you know folk as such, or I didn't think I was, um, and so it's only becoming apparent now when that we've released the album that. that Welsh people are saying, oh yeah, such and such band has covered that, or such and such band has done that. Well, I, I, don't, I don't know, but of what I have heard, I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> because um, they've been done very traditional. Um, I've got a bit of phobia with um, fiddles and violins and stuff, so um, there is no way uh, that, that, that I would have um, some of these songs with fiddles. Mind you, we've all got... The, all the versions are quite... Other versions of other bands are very diddly diddly, diddly, diddly Yeah, very happy. We like played twice the, or three times yeah, the speed we, of We played the song in the sound up. check um, called Song I Canarvon, which is the slow one with a harmonium. Um, it's, that's actually a, a sea shanty song, and so um, people are just like that when they hear it because we like painfully did it as slow as we can because to me it's sad it's about longing and being away from home but it's meant to be ah he's the ship men you know on the da -da. and it, to me it's not I don't see it like that at all so um, we do it our way and uh, do it do it depressed <laughs> rather than happy jolly um, you know traditionally they kept the timings kept dum 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 like that we, we like get to told off sometimes, we get we? told off yeah that we've changed the time I mean I never change the melody and I never change the words um, but sometimes I like to hang on a word and go in you know kind of almost like um, change the phrasing maybe yeah almost like a bit bluesy or jazz ja you know kind, kind of you know um, and so I don't like to be restricted by, by things. So we've done them, but you know, we're all, all of us are into different kinds of music. You know, I, I, I was into Massive Attack and Prodigy and, and all kinds of different. And I think the influences of, of, of that is coming into our music and not traditional folk kind I've, of. I've never listened to folk either. No. Really, until now I'm sort of discovering other good stuff but I, I don't think we realized we were a folk band <laughs> until about a, a year ago <laughs> you know because you just don't think it's only when people other people put you in the category you go oh actually yeah i suppose we are then um but i should have realized that when when i was exploring welsh folk songs it, it kind of makes sense <laughs> so so how did you how were you first exposed to the welsh ballad tradition um, well, I would like to say that I come from a very musical family and that my grandmother has taught them to me and that her grandmother taught her them, but I, that's not true. I come from an extremely non-musical background um, <laughs> and my grandmother used to sing very rude songs to me, so um, that's not true. I suppose we have this thing in Wales called a steadvod, 
um, that you might have heard of. It's a huge kind of... Um, gosh, what is this they thought of? It's like a performance just, just this, you know, this composition, isn't it? Well, yeah, yeah, and it's kind of a festival, festival of, of arts. Of, of arts. Um, the national one happens once a year and it's one of the, the biggest things in our calendar kind of thing. So when you compete as a child in these Eisteddfods and they could be, you know, as I say, the national one that happens every year or also every Saturday there is one in a village nearby, you know, it happens all the time. Um, almost like the old X Factor, there's a bit of an X Factor going on <laughs> in some community hall or school in Wales every Saturday. And so as a child you're exposed to these and you're kind of expected or pushed by your parents to um, compete in the East Edward. And one of the competitions is folk singing. And so um, I learned a few uh, through that and I learned a few through my drama school. And then mostly I've, I've found a book and I've taught myself them because I'm really passionate about um, not letting them die, you know, because they are beautiful, they're, they're, they're just stunning songs and I'm scared. None of my friends know any songs, that's, that's the, 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 uh, the extreme of it and that's what's freaking me out a bit because I just don't want them to die. Yeah. Well, I was forced to sing in the Eisteddfods when I was younger by my pushy mum and um, she you know, they always, you have like a report at the end of it. And they, they always said, she has an all right voice, but she doesn't keep the time and she's done this phrase wrong or... But then to me, it's soul music, you know, it, it comes from the pits of my stomach when I sing them, I really, really feel them. And so to, to, to be judged on, on that, you know, oh, she, she didn't keep the timing. It's like, oh my gosh, I remember being so frustrated as a child and that, that was it. I was like, no, I'm not singing anymore. I'm not singing anymore.